One minute on enzymes. The key to enzymes is that they are all about shape and you need a specific active site shape that fits a specific substrate shape. Keywords, active site, substrate, and fitting together like a lock and a key. Enzymes are called catalysts, which means they speed up the rate of reactions. And enzymes are the biological catalysts that we have in our cells. We talk about the cytoplasm, which is where chemical reactions happen. Enzymes will be doing loads of work there. We need to know that enzyme activity can change with both pH and temperature. And this is a really important graph for temperature. If you look at this graph, we need to know how to explain it. And uh, for the audio, the graph is going up until about 40 degrees and then it plummets down. The reason that it goes up as the temperature increases is the active sites and substrates have more kinetic energy. And so there's more random collisions occurring. So the rate of reaction increases. But once it gets to 40 degrees, there's too much energy and the active site changes shape. If the active site changes shape, the substrate no longer fits it and the rate of reaction goes down. And that's why the graph looks like that. In terms of pH, a graph will go up as there is an optimum pH and then down outside the optimum pH. So a, an enzyme like pepsin, which is found in the stomach, would have an optimum pH 2. And then as you become more alkaline, it would decrease. The reason for that is that pH also changes the shape of the active site and the wrong pH means it's the wrong shape of the enzyme. Lastly, remember the core practical we did in changing the pH on um, enzyme activity. Think about uh, control variables are the temperature and the volumes used. And the dependent variable is what we measure, which is the rate of reaction. And the independent variable is the thing we change, which is the pH of the solutions. We're out of here.